My name is Jamie Nickerson and I'm the director of the biology research group for Chemifor. You know, I, I went through university, I did a bachelor's degree in, in biology and master's and a PhD and, and then did a postdoc so I you know, was trained, uh, years of training in, in research in, in sciences and uh, finished that training and was looking for interesting opportunities and uh, at that time I was living in Ontario. Uh, but I'm from the East Coast, looking for a chance to come, you know, back to the Maritimes, and found this job posted um, for a senior research scientist for a small biotechnology startup company, setting up an operation in Charlottetown, and uh, here I am. Well, come to work, and and usually I spend uh, most of my day, you know, in, in my office, chained chained to my computer, um, communicating with other, you know. Uh, management people in the company. So we're split between uh, operations here in Charlottetown and Ottawa. So we have a chemistry research group in Ottawa and the president is there. So I talk with them quite often. Uh, we have sales and marketing people. So I'm often on the phone or communicating back and forth with them. Um, usually first thing in the morning, um, you know, I'll check with the, my, my group here, the, the team here that does, does the research. So we have a, a group doing research in the lab. We also have a group that provides um, stem cell services for, for veterinarians. And so if there's incoming samples to be dealt with, um, I check, you know, I check on that, make sure everything's going well there and kind of check in to see how, how research is progressing. Um, spend some time looking at data, analyzing data, you know, thinking about, okay, what's the next step? What should we do next? And, and that sort of thing. Um, the people are great. I mean, um, it's it's kind of you know it's uh, satisfying to to think that I came here and started this job. You know, it was an empty lab with no equipment and no people in it. And so you know, I, I got to fill the lab with equipment and hire these people. And you know, so that was that's very rewarding. Uh, and the other thing that is great about the job is that because we're a small company, you, you get to wear a lot of different hats and do a lot of different things and so you know today I might be figuring out how to figure out what kind of bacteria are, are you know are living in the guts of chickens and tomorrow I'm thinking about well how could we use stem cells to do more treatments in dogs and so it's always something different all the time and it's, it's great and it's science knowing what you, you know knowing where you need to go but not having the technology or the access to the technology to get yourself there so there can be a lot of frustration sometimes in, in, in that side. The money is the money is great. I mean, um, for what I do, um, you know, I feel that I'm compensated very well, um, and uh, you know, this is lots of responsibility. But that's you know, again, I, I'm okay with that. Well, generally you need a background in science, um, be it biology or biochemistry, chemistry. Um, so usually the minimum it would be a bachelor's degree um, to give you some sort of fundamentals in, in science. You know. um, but you don't necessarily need a degree in biology to do biology. Uh, we have people here who have degrees in chemistry and doing biology. Um, we have some folks on staff who um, are straight out of high school and have come in and uh, you know they make an important contribution as well. Um, there are opportunities um, at all levels um, in the biosciences with, within Prince Edward Islands. It's a growing community here. You have to have an interest in science and how it works. You know, it's, you want an interest in getting getting at the uh, nuts and bolts of you know why did substance X cause cells to do that or you know what what's going on here so you have to have a curious yeah you have to be you have to be a curious soul if you want to grow or move up within in the research ranks then you know either you come in at the bachelor's level and, and you get on the job training or you come in with a master's or a PhD and, and then maybe you start further on in, in the you know the chain of research um, you know this is uh, an industry that sort of combines science with business and so there's lots of opportunity for people with uh, you know an understanding of biology and knowledge in business as well um, so there's that side of things that could be legal um, there's you know 
patent lawyers. Um, they have to know law, but they have to have some understanding of, of the science. And so there are a lot of opportunities, I think, that people don't realize in this industry that are not lab coat jobs. Um, there's plenty of lab coat jobs, but there's plenty of other um, jobs available that, that don't involve working at the bench every day.